this week on a very special episode of Days of Our Lolcals. The end of Lolcal Galeon is upon us once again, but before we get into the feature presentation of this episode, we must induct a new Lolcal to take the place of Durga Suchi. And the person I've decided to induct into the Savage Central Lolcal Hall of Fame is the one, the only, Captain Oreo. <laughs> the reason I'm including him in Days of Our Lol Cows is because in between the last episode and now, he announced that he was, quote, leaving his own mod team because of me. I am actually not joking. He made a Reddit post formally announcing his departure from his own team, and when someone asked for context, he name dropped me specifically, saying that me and my fans have been, quote, attacking his mod team. And you know what? Instead of going out of my way to point out how stupid and wrong the Oreo man is, I'll just let this reply say it all. Pretty sure they're making fun of how you act and the amount of money you spent on a project with no return on investment, with the result being vastly inferior to other projects. So no, I don't think that they really care about the team, but more about you. To be honest, I didn't even know that there was a team of people working on Infinity Head and just thought it was the Oreo man working on this alone while commissioning $10,000 worth of art and music to anyone with a pulse. I've only ever attempted to reach out to this guy on two occasions. The first was me DMing him on Reddit to tell him to stop capping about when he was going to drop the demo. And the second was me trying to reach out to him on Discord after he dropped this to ask, like, what the hell, man? I didn't get a response either time. So, the Infinity Head is officially dead. Rest in power, best girl June Velasco. You will be dearly missed by many. The Riz Thief arc has officially reached depths I never before thought were possible, as Dirt Thief's mom was contacted by Llama and was oh, informed of the Pinto like drama as well as my the rest of Dirt Martino, Thief's online behavior. Say, like my what would be the response to being told that your 17-year-old son has been asking 11-year-olds about their tits? By filing a police report on Llama, in which they got the second-in-command at the Millville PD to call him and ask him if he's Pinto. So not only does Dirt Thief's entire school and family know about Pinto, the freaking police know as well. After this happened, Dirt Thief would be finally given the long overdue ban from the LA Knight fan club, and order was finally restored. Kind of. One of the things the police told Dirt Thief to do was to change his online identity, in which he obliged, as he goes by Damocles now. It's honestly hilarious that it took police intervention for Dirt Thief to do what we've been telling him to do for over a year now. And even then, his handle on YouTube still says Dirt Thief. He can't even rebrand himself right. Never change, Matt. Never change. So with all the lol cows now gone or in hiding, what will be the future of this shitpost YouTube series? Will Captain Oreo ever stop blaming me for all his problems? Will Dirt Thief ever learn to just shut up? Is Llama going to get raped in prison by a big brawling black dude named Requees? Find out next time, as like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of our lolcows.